In today's FX markets, let's take a look at the Euro futures as they're experiencing some pretty heavy selling pressure today. Euro futures down about three quarters of a percent, right around the one spot 065 level, which is uh, basically the lows of the session as the markets are contending with various narratives today. Number one, the ECB announcement. Number two, US data points uh, impacting the price action in the FX quadrant today. Now, when you look at the ECB announcement, uh, they chose to raise interest rates by 25 basis points. The market had kind of priced that in, but it wasn't 100% sure if that was going to be the case. And as we did get through the press conference, still some pretty hawkish tones from uh, ECB President Christine Lagarde. Uh, inflation continues to be a challenge, even though the economic activity in the Eurozone continues to slip. Uh, they feel that price stability is something that still needs to be uh, managed to bring uh, the uh, structure back into balance. And with that, we're seeing uh, some uh, significant reaction in uh, the uh, Paris trades, particularly the U.S. dollar gaining some strength here on the heels of stronger than anticipated data points here in the U.S. this morning. Retail sales coming in much better than anticipated, as well as uh, PPI, which uh, following the CPI data yesterday, a little bit hotter than expected, uh, not too significantly outside of the box, which particularly when you look at the core uh, PPI, but nonetheless, a little higher than anticipated. But really, I think the big driver today is the uh, retail sales data indicating the U.S. economy continues to uh, show some significant signs of growth, even with this higher interest rate environment. And that dynamic is impacting the price action, particularly when you look at the uh, currencies in that euro region. Now you're looking at the uh, euro down about 75 basis points. The British pound is down quite significantly as well, just about 70 basis points today. But if you move out over the globe, there is uh, actually some stronger price action as well. Now, looking at the Japanese yen, we're seeing that stronger versus the U.S. dollar and higher on the session, as well as the, the uh, New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar. So a uh, mixed uh, reaction uh, to the various narratives and data points from a global perspective. But when you look at the Eurozone today and the ECB announcement coupled with the U.S. Uh, data points, the euro is under some significant pressure, moving it down now to basically the lowest levels since the uh, end of May. So better than three and a half month lows when you look at the price action at this one spot 065 level.